What's up, boys? I have some brand new special replica builds that I've found for you guys. So let's hop in and take a look at these brand new builds that have just been found. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on any of these other videos because I post tons of these. And real quick, thank you guys so much for 15,000 subscribers. You guys have been blowing up the channel with these types of videos. So keep on liking these videos. Keep on subscribing. Let's try to hit 16,000 now. Seriously, you guys are insane. I genuinely do appreciate you guys. Let me know which other players you guys want to see down in the comments below and let's hop in. A huge build though has been found. We have found the Derek Rose. Rose build, man. Derek Rose build. This is awesome. Point guard, jersey number one. He has to be 6'3", 190 pounds with a 6'8 wingspan. Does not matter the body shape. And here are the Derek Rose attributes here. Let's take a look, man. I really do like this build, to be honest. I don't think it's too terrible. There's a lot. He's really, really fast. He's very, very physical. I like a lot about this build. But he's got 76 close shot, 87 driving layup, 82 driving dunk. No standing dunk, unfortunately, but he does have 47 post control, 82 mid range. He has 70 three point shot, 78 on the free throw, 80 on the pass accuracy, 88 ball handle, 91 speed with the ball. He's going to be very, very fast. 42 interior defense, 66 perimeter, 62 steal, 33 block, 28, I believe, offensive rebounding, 47 on the defense, 91 speed, 91 excel, 62 strength, 88 vertical, and then 96 stamina to top it off. Take a screenshot right now if you guys have to, and let's take a look at the defensive badges here. So he has 19 finishing badges, 16 shooting, 25 playmaking, and 7 defense. So I feel like the defense is going to definitely be lacking quite a bit, but I do think this build is very, very good. does not matter the takeover that you guys choose for this Derrick Rose build right here, but I, the next one we have is going to be very, very good as well, man. Brand new build that has been found. Uh, we have Floyd here, De'Aaron Fox, and Darius Garland, but that is not who we built because we have built Derek Rose from the Chicago Bulls, man. 2008 right here. He is nicknamed Pooh. So discovered a special replica of Pooh. Love that a lot, man. Not that kind of Pooh, but like Winnie the Pooh, Derek Rose. And now we have the Dr. Julius Irving here. So small forward jersey number six. He's going to be 6'6", 212 pounds with a 6'11 wingspan. And here is the doctor's attributes, man. 687 here on the close shot. 90 driving layup, 90 driving dunk, 77 standing dunk with a 71 post control. Moving on to shooting, we have 71 mid range, 65 three point, 76 free throw. And then for the playmaking, man, we have 75 on the pass accuracy, 77 ball handle, and 75 speed with the ball. 70 interior defense, 81 perimeter defense, 71 steal, 56 on the block, 73 offensive rebounding, and 75 defensive rebounding. And then for the physical attributes here, we have 82 speed, 82 acceleration, 77 strength, 90 vertical, and 92 stamina. Very, very fast build right here. I like it a lot. I'm not going to lie. Here you have the, all the builds or the, all the badges right here. You guys have 25 finishing, 10 shooting, 16 playmaking, and 17 defense. So there's a lot to do here. A lot of finishing for sure, but you also have a lot of playmaking. You can make some really good passes, get a lot of assists, and also be a very, very good defender. So I do kind of like this build a little bit. Let me know if, if you guys are rocking with it down in the comments below. But the doctor here, love it. I think this is one that a lot of people are going to want to have. It is the doctor here. Here we go, man. Dr. J here. Let's run it here. McDaniel, Jimmy Butler, and Andrew Wiggins are the shades of, but that is not who we got because we have got the doctor, man, from the 76ers. We have gotten a man, Julius Irving, the doctor, special replica. Love it, man. Let's move on and do a couple more builds in this video. Starting off here, we're going with the answer shooting guard number three, Allen Iverson. Let's go ahead and run it here. So here we go. We have to do the body settings now. So let's set up the body settings real quick. We have to make him six foot. So six foot, he's definitely on the smaller side. You guys then want to make him 175 pounds. You then want to make him six three. And you guys are set from there. So six foot, 175 pounds, six three as the wingspan. Moving on here, but take a look at some of this stuff here. So we have to go ahead and mess around with the uh, shot close and all that. So let's make this a 70 real quick. We have to make the close shot a 70. Boom, we have it at a 70. Moving on to the driving layup. We have to make the driving layup a 90. So let's make the driving layup a 90. There we go. He is now has a 90 driving layup. Then we need a 57 driving dunks. There we go, 57. And then a 25 standing dunk. We cannot mess with that really at all. And then we need the post control to be at a 32. And we are set for the finishing right there for Mr. Allen Iverson. All right, moving on to playmaking. I'm sorry, we have to do, yeah, we're gonna do playmaking first. We're doing the pass accuracy at an 82 and then a ball handle at an 89. So 82, and then we need an 89 here. So 82 and an 89, boom, that is now at an 89. Then we need an 88 speed with the ball. So 88, and we are set from there. Moving on to shooting, we need 79 mid range. 79 mid range. All right, here we go. We are now at 79. All right, now we need a 71 three-pointer. So pretty low there at a 71, I will say. And then pretty good free throw here at 77. 
And now we have to move on to the defensive side of the ball here for AI. So move on to 27 and the perimeter defense has to be at an 80. So pretty high up here for the perimeter defense at an 80. Then we need an 87 steal. So let's move up to 87 for the stealing. Here we go, 87 steal. Then we need a 34 block. Offensive rebounding has to be at a 41. So we're moving this back down to uh, 41 right there. And then 47 defensive rebounding. Now onto the physicals here. We have to nail these. We're gonna make this an 89. So speed will be 89 for AI. Then we need a 91 acceleration. So 91 excel, there we go. 61 strength, here we go, 61 strength. And then we need to get the vertical setup, which will be an 89, and then a 92 stamina to finish it off. So making this an 89, and then a 92 stamina should finish it off, and boom. We have now made Allen Iverson. Here you guys go here. If you guys need to take a screenshot right now, take a screenshot right now. You guys have the height over there. You have all the attributes right here. And then these are the badges right here. I'll move my face cam up. We have 17 finishing, 16 shooting, 24 playmaking, and 20 defensive badges. Now let's move on and take a look at the animation. It does not matter which takeovers that you guys choose. So let's go ahead and continue and take a look at the AI build right here, also known as the answer. So AI, love this right here. Tyrese Maxey, Donovan Mitchell, and Terry Rozier. But that's not who it is because it's going to cancel out here and give us an AI from the 76ers. So love to see that right there. We have discovered a special replica of the answer. I already have this one set up for you guys here. It's going to be called Half Man, Half Amazing Vince Carter. Shooting guard, number 15 here. This is actually a pretty solid build that I know a lot of people are liking. You guys have to make him 6'6", 215 pounds, and a 6'11 wingspan right here. Then go ahead and continue. The body type does not matter. And these are what you guys have to have set up right here. So if you guys want to take a look at Vince Carter, go ahead and screenshot right now. But he does have, obviously, the attributes over there. But he also has some pretty solid badges. 24 finishing, 19 shooting, 17 playmaking, and 6 defensive badges. So the defense is definitely pretty weak on the card. I also feel like he is kind of short on badges, so it's not the greatest build. But he does have some good things to him, like the obviously the finishing. So he does have 83 on the close shot, 85 driving layup, and 90 on the, uh, I'm sorry, 96 on the driving dunk. Then 76 standing dunk, 55 on the post control, 78 mid-range, 80 overall, 3 points, 71 free throw, 74 on the pass accuracy, 77 ball handle, 70 speed with the ball then you have 55 here for the interior defense you have 72 perimeter defense 55 steel 60 i'm sorry that's not even that's 53 53 right there for the block 43 offensive rebounding 47 for the defensive rebounding and then you have some physical stats right here so it's going to be an 80 overall speed 80 excel 49 strength 91 vertical and 99 stamina on this right here once you guys have done all that you guys can go ahead and choose whatever takeovers you guys want and this will be uh, this build right here. So half man, half amazing. Awesome. Love it. I love the name on this one. The name is sweet on this, but it's Kobe, Cade Cunningham, and Zach Levine. But that's not who it really is because it's going to pull up here and be the Toronto Raptors here. And this will be, of course, Vince Carter. Half man, half amazing. I love the name of this build so much. I don't think the build is as good. I thought originally it was going to be really, really good, but I was kind of wrong. Although I do like this Vince Carter build quite a bit. So it's not that bad. If you guys want to run it, let me know if you guys are running it down in the comments below. Next up, we have Dominique Wilkins, also known as the human highlight film here. Small forward, number 21. Important. Small forward, number 21. Moving on to the body settings, he has to be 6'7", 200 pounds, and 6'10", right there. So 6'7", 200 pounds, and then 6'10", for the wingspan. Moving on, we're doing the attributes here. We need 86 close shot, 90 on the driving layup, and 92 driving dunk. We then need 70 standing dunk. I'm sorry, 90. I don't know what I'm talking about. We need 90 standing dunk, 67 post control. Moving on to mid range, you guys need 76, 64 for the three point, 76 free throw. And then we need a 55 pass accuracy, 69 on the ball handle, 74 speed with the ball, 60 interior defense, 77 perimeter, 66 on the steal, 41 blocking, 62 offensive rebounding with 63 defensive rebounding. And moving on to the physical stats, you guys need right here an 83 speed, 81 acceleration, 74 strength, 93 vertical, and then you guys need 89 stamina. And he has a couple of defensive badges as well. 25 finishing, 13 on the shooting, 9 playmaking, and 12 um defense right there so not too ter not too shabby let me know if you guys are running with him down in the comments below but uh yeah not too shabby of a build i don't think you know dominic wilkins pretty solid take a screenshot right now if you guys have to and let's move on here so takeovers that's what we got right there and let's move on and take a look at the animation for the human highlight film here dominique wilkins we have rj bear demar Derozan, and og and anobi as the shades of comparisons but that's not who we built because we built from the atlanta hawks we have Dominique Wilkins, the Human Highlight Film. So this is the special replica of Human Highlight Film. So pretty awesome right there. Let me know if you guys run with him down in the comments. Next up, we have Gilbert Arenas here. So he's going to be called Agent Zero. Point guard here, number zero, not double zero. Make sure it says zero. So point guard, 
number zero. Let's run it here. Okay, so for the body settings here, we have to change some of this here. We have to make him 6'3". We then we have to make him 191 pounds. So he's going to be decently tall because he has also has that 6'7 wingspan, which isn't too shabby. So 6'3", 191, 6'7", pretty solid. Uh, not too bad right here. I don't think I mind this build. I think I kind of like this build if I do remember correctly. But uh, slack, shot close here. I like this at 79 right here. We're going to run with 79 here as a close shot. Driving layup though has to be at a 76. So let's bump this up to 76. And then we need driving dunk has to be at a 75. So he's going to get some pretty good animations if you guys are really trying to run with this build. But uh, he also has 27 standing dunk. So we probably won't get anything right there really for the standing dunk. But pose control here has to be at a 56. So 56 right there for the finishing. Moving on now to the shooting. Let's make the shooting here. He has to be at an 88 mid range. So 88 mid range. And once we do that, we have to move on to the three point here. So 88 right there. Moving on, on to the three point, we need to have this at 83. So it's pretty solid at 83. Could be a little bit higher, but I'm not really that mad at that. But you are going to have a lot of shooting badges because you have to have 83 free throw for this right here. Moving on though, we need the pass accuracy to be at an 82. So moving the pass accuracy up to an 82 real quick. There we go. And then we need the ball handle to be at a 92. 92 ball handle on this right here. And then 84 speed with the ball. There we go. Playmaking has been completed. Now we just need the defense and the physical stats here. All right, interior defense has to be a 59. So kind of somewhat high to be honest for a point guard, but that's not too shit. That's not too bad. However, the perimeter defense is really low at a, at a uh, 71. So but then you have the stealing at a 67. So 67 steal and then 44 block. Let's move this up, 44 block. And then we're moving on now to the rebounding. We need 46 and 54. So 46 for the offense. And then we need a 54 for the defensive rebounding. Here we go, 54. Moving on now to the physical stats though. We need 87 speed. 87 speed right here, boom, locked in. Now we need the 87 acceleration. So 87 all around there for speed and acceleration. Strength has to be up to a 71. That's very, very solid strength for a point guard. There we go, 71. And then 79 vertical along with the stamina at a 95. So we're maxing this out to a 95 and boom. We have now built him right here. As you guys can see, we have, if you guys need to take a screenshot right now, take a screenshot, but let's take a look at the badges now as well. Uh, he's got 16 finishing. He has 24 shooting badges, 24 playmaking, and 12 defensive badges. So really, really solid build, I think, right here. I love the mix of the finishing with the shooting and the playmaking. He's got a lot going for him, man. So I actually think this is one of the better um, special builds, I will say, that can actually like be used rather than having a cool name. So yeah, I don't mind this build right here, man. So let's take a look here. But we have the shades of as D'Angelo Russell, Damian Lillard, and Jamal Murray. But that's not who we built, man, because we built Gilbert Arenas here, Agent Zero. Boom, right here. Gilbert here. We have discovered a special replica of Agent Zero. Now let's move on, man, to the next build. Moving on, we're going back to point guard here. We have a point guard number 32. This is going to be the magic build, Magic Johnson. None other than him, man. So let's go ahead and go to 6'9 here. He's going to be tall, obviously. 6'9, he's going to be 215 pounds. So a really big point guard here. He's going to have a 7-foot wingspan. So definitely a big body point guard here. Although now let's move on to the attributes here. We need 91 close shot. So let's move this up to 91 for the close shot. Then we need the 90 driving layup. 90 driving layup. Then we need a 46 driving dunk. There we go. 46 driving dunk and now a 25 standing dunk. So we're keeping that still. And then for the post control, we need an 86. So 86 post control here. So let's move it up. 86. Perfect. Now we need the shooting. So we're going to go ahead and give him a 75 mid range. 75 on the mid range. Let's set that here. Boom. Now we need a 72 three pointer. There we go. 72 three. Uh, three-pointer and then we need an 86 overall free throw we have that set up right there moving on to playmaking we need 95 pass accuracy he's going to be a great passer here 95 right here so super super good 95 then we have to have him at 87 ball handle so pretty much maxing out almost everything here for the playmaking here so yeah i think we actually we are we are maxing out everything for playmaking on this build right here moving on to defense we need 80 for both perimeter and interior so 80 on both right here so really going to be a pretty solid defender as well as well as a playmaker. So it's definitely that playmaker build for you guys here. You also need a 67 steal. So 67 moving this up uh, right there for him. And then we need a 29 block. So we have 29 blocking. And then offensive rebounding is going to be a 62. And then we need a 70. So 62 and then a 70 for the defensive rebound right there. And then for the speed, we need at, at, at uh, 75 as well as the excel. We need 75 on both speed and excel. There we go. And now we need we need the uh, the strength. We need the strength here at a 62. So moving this down to 62. 
vertical has to be adjusted to a 61 and then finally we need 89 stamina so 61 and then 89 stamina and we should be all set i don't know how it got messed up but i messed up the st the finishing stuff so make sure you guys have the finishing that are up there and then you got everything is set you guys have to have that 89 stamina so once you guys have that down this is your build man so it's really really good take a screenshot right now if you guys need to and let's go ahead and take a look at these badges. He's got 16 finishing, 15 shooting, 25 playmaking, and 14 defensive badges. So really, really solid right there for Magic Johnson. And let's go ahead and make it official here. Put in the takeovers that you guys want. It does not matter which ones, though. And let's move on here. So taking a look here at the special replica build is going to be none other than Magic Johnson. But he, the comparisons are SGA, LaMelo Ball, and Luka Doncic. But we're moving on here to the Lakers here. Of course, Magic Johnson here. So... Yeah, we have discovered a special replica build of Magic. Love that for sure. Let's move on now and go to a different position. We are going with small forward here. This is going to be number 31. This is going to be Sean Marion, the Matrix. Let's set the height in all this. 6'7", 220 pounds. He's going to have a 7 foot wingspan. So 6'7", 220 pounds, 7 foot wingspan. Let's move on to the attribute part. Here we go. We need 87 shot close. So let's move this up to 87 for Mr. Sean here. 87. Then we're moving this up to an 82 for the driving layup. So 82. There we go. And then we're going to make an 84 driving dunk. Here we go. 84 driving dunk. Perfect. Then we need a 62 standing dunk. Once we have that set up, we will move on. There we go. 62. Then for the post control, we need to be at a 75. So he has pretty solid post control here at a 75. That finishes it off the finishing. Moving on to mid-range, we need 83, 83, and then 81 for the three-point. Here we go, 83, then 81. Moving on to the free throw, we need 86, 86, and we are finished now with the shooting. Really, really simple right there. Playmaking, this is actually going to be pretty, pretty low. We need 60 and a 60. So back-to-back -back 60s on this one, 60 ball handle, 60, and the pass for the pass accuracy, both pretty low. I'm not a big fan of low pass accuracy this year because passes are pretty bad this year. So if you don't have a high pass accuracy, you're probably going to be pretty trash. Same with uh, the strength. So kind of not a big fan of that. But 84 interior defense is really, really good. I like that a lot. So, And you also have the 81 perimeter as well, though. So 81 perimeter is not too bad. You also have 85 steel with 68 blocking. So 85 and then 68 right here for the block. So here we go. We got 68 blocking. Perfect. Moving on to the offensive and defensive rebounding, we need 80 and 82. So there's going to be 82 right here. And then we also need an 80 for the offensive. So 80 and 82 right here. Perfect. 80 and 82. Physical stats here. We have to nail these. Let's get it done. 79 speed. 79 speed. And we are set up. There we go. 79 speed. 77 acceleration. There we go. And then we need 70 strength. And then we need 85 vertical. Well, then we can max out our stamina here so we have 85 right there for the vertical and then stamina needs to be at a 94 did we complete it and we did so these are all the attributes here for mr sean marion the uh matrix so here we go let's move up here and take a look at the badges 20 finishing 21 shooting six playmaking and 25 defensive badges so yeah no playmaking at all in this card or this my or this build whatever you guys want to call it and uh yeah let's hop in and take a look at uh the animation here for the matrix here in sean marion we'll do a couple more in today's video here but the player comparisons here are og ananobi paul george and Kawhi leonard let's see though here's the animation we have from the phoenix suns here sean marion here also known as the matrix special replica of i think we've covered pretty much most of the brand brand new builds at least so far there could be more at the end of the video by this time it gets posted but it's really weird how nobody has found lebron or Giannis yet or kd I think the KD one was fake, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I don't know, man. But this one, this next one is gonna be called the Grandmama. So, the Grandmama, uh, Larry Johnson here. So, jersey number two, power forward. Let's run it here, see how good this build looks. But he's gonna be 6'7, 257, and seven feet tall. But I'm really interested to see if anyone can find like a Yan. I, I don't know how they don't have like the freak for Giannis. Like, that's really wild to me. It's really wild how there is not a LeBron one yet. I don't know how nobody has found that yet, if it's even in the game. It's really weird how nobody has found it yet because that's probably the number one player that everyone is going for. So it's really, really weird to me. We're going to make this 86 and 75 right here. Driving dunk is going to be a 77 and we'll set it right there. But I'm really interested to see uh, if anyone can end up finding those. And I'll definitely have videos on the channel if I'm able to find it or if anyone else does. So I definitely will have those on the channel if uh, that does happen to be. So make sure, again, you guys leave a like and subscribe. We're going to make this a 90 overall here for the uh, post control. So the finishing is set here for uh mr larry johnson here i also want a larry bird not like i said larry i want larry bird too 
I want Larry Bird's build, but uh, apparently nobody has found him yet either. So there's a lot of guys that they could give. I feel like they've given stuff to a lot less relevant guys. Like they gave one to like Zion instead of like LeBron. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. They obviously didn't do like those guys on purpose. I don't really know why. But uh, we'll see if eventually people can start finding some of those builds. But it's just, it's crazy how nobody has found it yet if it is in the game. So, because everyone's trying to go for Giannis. Everyone's trying to go for LeBron. Go for those guys. So, I don't know. We'll see if someone can eventually find them. But this is what the pass accuracy and the uh, playmaking looks like here. 74, 71, 74. Moving on to the defense. We need 82 interior defense. So, 82 interior defense right here. Let's set it up. Here we go. We need 82 right there. We also need a 57 perimeter defense. So 57 for the perimeter defense. And that is now set. We need 56 stealing. Here we go. 56 steal. Blocking. We need more blocking. We need 37 here for that. Uh, 70 offensive rebounding and also 70 defensive rebounding. This might, by the way, be possibly by the last video that I post on these uh, these builds right here. Because if there's not any brand, brand new ones, I don't want to make videos anymore. Just talking about the old builds. Because I haven't covered every single one quite yet. But I've covered the majority of them. So a lot of these physicals though are going to be really, really good on this uh, Sean right here. So vertical has to be an 85. But if there's not like a Giannis or something that comes out, I probably won't post another video. But like for this one, Derek Rose came out. So I definitely want to make a video for this. But this is what all the attributes look like here for Larry Johnson right here. Here are all the badges. He's got 23 finishing, 18 shooting, 15 on the playmaking, and 10 defensive. So a lot of good stuff right here on this. So let's go ahead and continue though. So let's go ahead and make the takeovers, whatever. And let's go ahead and move on. So here is what it looks like right here. The build, we have the animation, all that different stuff, man. So here we go. Zion, Julius Randle, Scotty Barnes are the shades up for this right here. And as you guys can see, it goes away and we get the Charlotte Hornets here. It is, of course, Larry Johnson, the grandmama. And for the final build of the video here, we have the Rain Man. It is a power forward, jersey number 40. Let's move on now. Hey, height. We have to make this 6'10". We're making the height 6'10 here. We have to move this down to 230 pounds. And then we have to make the wingspan here 7'3". So 6'10", 230, 7'3 as the wingspan. Moving on now to the attributes. Let's set this up here. So for this, we need a 78 shot close. Let's move this up here. 78 shot close. All right. And then we need for the driving layup, we need this to be a 77. So 77 right here for the driving layup. Then we need a 93 driving dunk. So 93 driving dunk on this right here. Here we go, 93. And then we need an 89 standing dunk. Boom, set that up as well. All right, now we are moving on now to the post control, which has to be an 82. 82 post control, moving on. All right, so now for the shooting, 52 and then a 45. So 52, 45, here we go. All right, 73 free throw, perfect. And now we are pretty much set up here. So not very much shooting on this, I will say. He's definitely going to be more of an inside guy. But uh, pass accuracy here. Move this up here to 65. So it's pretty low. I'm not sure if I really like this build super much. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's not that great. So here we go, though. We have to make, move this up. I'm sorry. We need 65 for this. 65 pass accuracy and then a 64 ball handle. And then we need a 69 speed with the ball. So move this up to a 69 and call it good. All right, interior defense. We need an 82. All right, 82, here we go, and 82, and then a 78, all right, and we should be perfect, and then a 55, and then 70 for the block, and we should be good after that, all right, perfect, now we just need the rebounding, 87 for offense, and 93 for defense, so 87 and 93, here we go, 87, and then 93, boom, all right, set up there. Now we need 77 speed and then 72 acceleration. 77 speed and then uh, 72 acceleration. Perfect. Here we go. 89 strength and then we are good. Boom. All right, 89 right there. And then 87 vertical. 87 vertical. And then finally, we just need the stamina to be maxed out here to a 90 and we are set up. Take a screenshot right now if you guys have to, but let's take a look at the badges. All right, 25 finishing, zero shooting, 10 playmaking, and 22 defense. So please do not shoot with this build. Uh, so I'm not, you know, he's got zero potential for the shooting badges. A little bit interesting, but uh, I'm definitely liking this right here. So, you know, besides the shooting, uh, everything is pretty solid about this. He's got some finishing, he's got some playmaking, he's got some defense. There's a lot of good things about this, but the shades of heart, the shades of here are Evan Mobley, Julius Randle, and Giannis. And we have these Seattle Sonics here. 
is going to be Sean Kemp, the Rain Man. Let me know which builds you guys want to see down in the comments below, and please subscribe to the channel right here. We are super close now to 16,000 subscribers. I genuinely do appreciate you guys for watching this video, and check out this video up here that YouTube's recommended for you. They know it's all of it. That's why they recommended it for you, so give it a watch.